Hi, I'm Ingo from Roast Rebels and in this video we compare the two coffee roasters, the Hot Topit Artisan Connection and the Idea Bullet R1 V2. Before we deep dive into the differences, into the comparison of these two roasters, I will just give a quick idea on um, what these two machines are and whom these are for. Both of the machines are drum coffee roasters, so construction-wise they are done similarly as most of the production roasters we find on the market, even up to 500 kilograms. They're all about the same when it comes to the way they're roasting coffees. They have a drum inside which is continually moving, which is moving the beans, and then they have an airflow which is going through the machine. And this is the same with these two. So this means that these two machines are not only suitable for home coffee roasters, but they're perfect for people who really want to learn the craft of coffee roasting. They're perfect education roasters because what you learn on these machines um, are learnings and information that you can then easily adapt also on any other production roaster. In addition to that, when you want to go this way, when you later want to um, roast commercially on larger machines, you can still use these two machines as profile roasters. These small drum roasters are perfect as profile roasters because they give you a lot of information on the roast profile, on the bean process, on the roasting proce process that you will be able to adapt then also to the larger roasters because they're measuring the bean temperature, they're measuring also other um, aspects like for example the environmental temperature, they can adapt the airflow and then also the um, temperature change during the roast so that you will have a lot of information on the profile that you can then use to plan your production roasts. What you have then to take into consideration, which is something that you have to take into consideration also as a home roaster, is the capacity of the, these two machines. The hot top has a maximum capacity of 300 grams and the Ileo bullet of one kilo. But there is not only a maximum capacity, there is also a minimum capacity. This um, has to do with the thermocouples, so if the capacity is too low, then the temperature cannot be measured perfectly anymore. And in, the, in addition to that, the drum is then too large for the amount of coffee that you're roasting. So the coffee is too long on the, on the hot metal, which can lead to scorching and to uneven roasts. Therefore, um, the recommendation is to load to a minimum of about one third of the capacity of the roaster. Um, in my experience, hot top is perfect between 100 and 300 gram of green coffee. The Ideal Bullet is perfect between 300 gram and 1 kilogram of green coffee beans. This means that the Bullet can already be used as a small production roaster. You can roast up to 4 kilogram of coffee per hour, which means you can already start with the machine and then go, for example, to farmer markets. Or once you have a larger machine, you can do, for example, um, nano lots, small lots on, on this machine. While the hot top, um, which is too small for production roasting, I wouldn't recommend it at all for production roasting, but due to the low capacity, it helps you to develop roast profiles with really low amounts of green coffee beans. So when you think, for example, you can develop profiles with amounts of 100 gram coffee per batch. So you have the possibility to do a lot of um, experiments and to really develop um, roast profiles with low amounts of green coffee beans. Both machines are um, electric, he electrically heated, and they can be used in uh, just a normal plug that you have in your house. The Alu Bullet is working with an induction heating, which is allowing to be really um, powerful, but also precise, even with this um, quite large capacity of roaster, while the hot top is um, working with a common electrical heating element which is suitable for this roaster. It's still very powerful and precise for the amount of coffee that you can roast in this machine. Both machines are heating the drum with their heating elements, so they're heating the beans indirectly and uh, both can be um, set very finely. So in the Alio Bullet you can 
choose 10 different steps for the heating element. In the hot top you can even choose 100 different steps for the heating element. So you can work really precisely on the heat curve. In addition to that, both machines have a powerful airflow and both of the machines, they can um, set the airflow in 10 steps quite easily by turning a button or pressing some buttons. In addition to that, you can vary the drum speed of the Ilea bullet in 10 steps. This allows you, if you have, for example, a smaller or a larger batch, to adapt the drum speed to prevent scorching or to add some more convective heat transfer. Both machines can be controlled directly at the roaster, but also with the software. The hot top is quite straightforward when you want to control it um, directly on the roaster. It has two knobs, both can be turned, and one is to set the power of the heating element, the other is to set the power of the airflow. With the Ilio it's a bit more complex, so it has a little computer built in, which is leading you through the different stages of the roast. So the preheat stage, the roasting stage, the cooling stage, and then um, the stage that is going to stand by or to go back to back into the next roast. So it leads you a bit through, through the whole roast process, which is um, quite a nice thing. It can be helpful. It also has the possibility to do some settings in the roaster, like a fixed um, preheat temperature. It also has voice control that uh, can help you in the roast process. All in all, it's a bit more sophisticated, but it also means you have more electronics and more software in the roaster, and then also to do firmware upgrades, uh, driver upgrades and all that. Both machines are measuring the bean temperature with a classic um, bean probe. This is quite important because this is the way that um, coffee or the roasting process is tracked and is being measured commonly. And it allows you to talk about uh, roast profiles with other roasters, with other roasting machines, to exchange uh, roast profiles. So this is quite a common way of measuring the, the temperature of roasting. The hot top has uh, additionally also a environmental temperature probe. This is a probe that is located a bit higher than the bean temperature probe, which is measuring the air outside of uh, the beans. And the higher the difference between the environmental temperature and the bean temperature, the faster the temperature will rise. And the closer they are together, the lower the speed of the temperature increase will be. The Ilea bullet doesn't have an environmental temperature sensor, but it has a really great feature in it, an innovative feature, which is the infrared bean temperature sensor. It's one of very few roasting machines that are measuring with infrared the bean temperature, which is a very fast and very quick and very precise way of measuring the temperature. And I'm quite sure this is an innovative feature that we will see later also with other roasting machines. The Ile Bullet has a dryer here. Um, the hot top hasn't. In my opinion, for these small machines, a dryer is something that um, you don't really need because they have quite large windows. You can hear the beans, you can smell the beans. And um, if you use the dryer on a small machine like this, you have quite a lot of cold air that is going into the chamber, so you influence the rose profile quite, quite a bit. Therefore, even with the Ilea Bullet, I wouldn't recommend to use the dryer, but yeah, some people love to do this and um, they are happy that this roaster has a dryer built in. But what both machines have, they have a quite large window where you can then really see the rose process. With the hot top, it's even a bit larger. With the bullet, it's a bit smaller, but still it's quite large and you can very well see the beans. What Ilio is delivering with the roaster, um, which I really like, is um, a little lamp, an LED lamp with daylight, where you can perfectly then see the color of the beans. The hot top doesn't have this feature, but you can just use, for example, an LED daylight lamp, or you can use the lamp that you have built in, in your smartphone. Um, this has the perfect light and then you can track the color of your, um, of your beans during the roast process. With both machines you can hear first crack very well. With the hot top even a bit better because it's just less mass around, but still with the bullet and the hot top you can hear the first cracks and the second crack quite well. What I would recommend you in any case is to use the computer with these two roasting machines because with the software that is provided with the machines you can 
get quite more information like for example the rate of rise or the roast development time percentage which is calculated live or you can then save the profiles, you can add information like cupping profiles and this is possible with both machines. Both machines are um, connectable to Artisan which is a free software and um, which is quite a powerful software which has a lot of possibilities and in addition to that um, ILEO provides roast time their own software which is of course also free for ILEO Bullet users and um, if you're working with the ILEO Bullet I would recommend you to use roast time it has less functions than Artisan but it has all the functions that you need and it's just much more user friendly it has a nice interface and what I really like about roast time or the whole ILEO setup is that there is a community behind which is called Roast World and within Roast World you can then exchange a lot of information with other roasters like for example Roast Profiles so you can get Roast Profiles from other roasters on a particular bean you can then display it for example as a reference while you're roasting or you can even copy and paste profiles and then do automatic roasts based on roasts that other people did on a particular bean. So this whole community feature is something that I really like about the Ilio Bullet Roaster. As I said, both machines can be used at home on just a normal plug. Hot Top is using about 750 watts, the Ilio Bullet about 1500 watts. And um, weight-wise, the Hot Top is 9 kilo, the Ilio Bullet is 18 kilo. So both machines can be moved quite easily. The Hot Top even more with this 9 kilo, you can just put it in your uh, cupboard and then take it out to roast when you want to roast. The Ilio Bullet is a bit heavier, but still it can be moved. It's just no comparison to the espresso machine that you might have at home, which you um, hardly can move at all. The bean cooling, and um, this may, might be a bit surprising, but bean cooling is really important in a roaster because the beans have to be cooled to room temperature in maximum four minutes after ending the roast. And with both machines, this is quite efficiently solved. I even prefer the way they solved it with the hot top because it has here a bean chute and when the roast is over, the beans are coming out in a second or two and then they're cooled here in this cooling tray. With the bullet, the, the cooling is still very efficient especially if you're roasting, let's say, up to 500 grams. If you're roasting larger amounts of, let's say, one kilo of the beans, then you have to use a wooden spoon to move the beans a little bit, or people that are doing a lot of uh, roasts, they're even mounting some motors with an automatic steerer to cool down. But what's nice about the cooling in the bullet is um, that it's separately controlled from the roaster. This means you can cool the beans while you're preparing the roaster for the next batch or while you're even already roasting the next batch. So this makes back-to-back -back roasting, so um, one roast after the other, much more efficient and much more quick than with the hot top. With the hot top, especially when it's connected to Artisan, it's still possible to quite quickly go from one roast to the next one, but um, all in all, it takes a bit more time and the vent here in the cooling tray is connected to the vent of the roaster so when it's cooling the vent is fully on so you can't really then work on roast profiles all in all the bullet is really perfectly done for back-to-back -back roasting this is why um, there are quite some commercial roasters which are roasting yeah four batches of one kilo so about four kilos per hour um, with that you can already start to do small batch roasting. One important thing when you consider the roasting machine is the, the issue of smoke. Both roasters are producing smoke. With the bullet it's even much more because of the larger capacity, the larger amount of coffee beans you are roasting. What's nicely solved with the Alio bullet is that the whole smoke is coming one, out of one hole. This means uh, you can then quite easily capture the smoke with um, a venting solution, you find a lot of information in the manual or on the website, then you can lead the smoke out of the window. With the hot top, the smoke is coming out of um, some different places like on the top, on the back. So what I recommend you if you're roasting with the hot top is to put it um, below a vent if you have a strong, large kitchen vent 
or then maybe to go outside with the, with the roaster. Both machines are quite easy to maintain. They don't need too much of cleaning, yet they need some maintenance. But um, especially important is the releasing of the chaffs. Um, after each roast, you should release the chaffs of the previous roast, just in order to prevent um, a fire, a roast fire, which could happen with the hot top, it's quite easily done. All the chuffs are collected here and then you can just release them before the next batch. With the bullet, some chuffs are here, some chuffs are in the chuff collector, which has to be opened. It's um, not uh, as elegant as with the hot top, but still it works quite well. On the other hand, the hot top has um, two filters that um, need to be changed um, on a regular basis, which are a bit more expensive. One is on the back, one is on the top. The one on the back has to be changed um, every 20th roast. The one on the top every 100th roast, which is a, a recommendation of the producer, um, which is especially if you're roasting darker roasts, when you're roasting lighter, then you can keep it a bit longer. Nevertheless, you have to change them from time to time and they're a bit costly. Um, while with the Ilio, um, you have also a filter which is protecting the vent of the cooling tray, which is a very simple and cheap filter actually to, to be replaced. What I like is that Ilio is um, giving a little toolkit with all the tools that you need to maintain the roaster, like that everybody who is um, working with the roaster is using the right tools, which then of course um, keeps the longevity of the screws and of the whole roasting machines um, a bit better. So to sum up, both of these machines are really powerful uh, workhorses. Both of these machines are really precise. You have a large community where you can exchange information and then uh, really step up your, your roasting experience very quickly and do great roasts. The main difference here is the capacity of the Ilio bullet, which is larger with 300 gram to 1 kilo um, versus 100 gram to 300 gram with the hot top. And um, also the electronics or all, all the features like the infrared beam temperature sensor, which are great innovations. While on the other hand, um, hot top has more than 10 years experience and is quite a proven roaster on the market as well. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If you want to know more about these roasting machines or roasting in general, then come back to me anytime. You find my information online on roastrebels.com.